phones. Both smart and the dumb ones in your house. Carpets. Who was the first person to have that? You probably don't know, but you may find out, and I don't know about that, with Jim Jeffries. Hello everyone, this is Jim Jeffries. I am here with Kelly, Jack, Forrest, and uh, we've got Iron Brews here. Iron, Iron Brew. Brew. We've been talking about it for a, for a long time. Uh, we've got some Iron Brew. Uh, it's probably the biggest news to happen to me this week, wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I, uh, you had some good Oh, stuff I got happen. married as yeah. well. Yes, I also got married. I got married to a lovely girl, love of my life. And uh, and it was a beautiful day. And I, I, I haven't put it on my normal um, social... I put it on my private social media, but I haven't put it on my um, public social media because a lot of my fans can be vicious and nasty people. <laughs> yeah, that's so fucking rude. <laughs> and I wanted to have a nice time. Yeah. Like, life over. And it's like, yeah. as if you didn't ma- actively make the choice to get married. I do do that with... <laughs> With my wife now i've been married for a week and i do do that constantly now like this i call her the old ball and chain <laughs> uh, things have changed and she's like i went to have a drink and she goes are you having a drink oh you knew this when you married me <laughs> I, I i do a bit of that with us uh, we had a wonderful wedding. we went to vegas uh just eight of us two of her friends two of my friends my ex kate and my son came along because we all get along very good and and she's part of my family and and uh what we did was we went out there and we had a lovely little wedding in the, the little white chapel and there was Elvis impersonators standing around. This chapel, I got to tell you, guy dressed like a cowboy. Eighties people dressed like the nineteen eighties. Yeah, people, they're all people, there. A lot of people not taking their marriage seriously. <laughs> um, Wasn't it across from a strip club or something? It's across from oh. a tattoo parlor. So afterwards, pawn right, shop. Well, yeah, what, you, what you can do is yeah, you can pawn a ring. You can buy a ring from the pawn shop. Then you can get a tattoo of the girl's name. Uh, uh, un- behind your ear or some shit and then you can all go to the strip club and organize a threesome what a wonderful day <laughs> and it was in a neighborhood where there were some other places you can get married as well and there was one store that said ten dollar tuxedos yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, made the, a paper the, the chapel sells those t-shirts that make you look uh, like you're wearing a tuxedo and oh, they and they awesome. just have a few veils just like on hooks like what a veil what a t-shirt <laughs> like that and it's like but this is the thing with vegas weddings it's, it, 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 there's a myth that people get drunk and they just go in there and they get married like out of friends or whatever like when britney spears the place where britney spears right. was married for an hour or whatever she was that's not the case you, you have to go to the clark county uh, marriage registry place and get your certificate now thank god that is open till midnight <laughs> right but it's like the dmv Right, you got to, you got to stand around there and you got to wait in line. It's couples, yeah, it's just couples because you have to go in together. The yeah. two of you have to go. So, so we're all couples socially distancing with masks, and everyone was doing the same thing behind their masks. They're going, they're not going to make it. What about that one? <laughs> Those two haven't got a chance in uh, hell. Yeah. I can't geez. believe she's with him. Yeah, she's a bit young for him. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit old for him. You know what I mean? Like we were judgy as fuck. <laughs> we went in there. We had a lovely time. And then we went out to dinner, and. We uh, had an edible and we got high and so we could have a nice little giggle and we were sitting there and we had to sit in two separate booths because of COVID or whatever. And so I'm sitting in a booth next to my beautiful bride and we're sitting there and we, I, ate a, I ate a tomato and burrata. Is that the name of the cheese? Burrata. Yeah, burrata. Like mar- yeah, 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 like a mozzarella. Well, these tomatoes and mozzarella things. And, you know, I'm high and I'm also a fucking animal. I'm an animal, right? So I've eaten everything. But then there's some slops of cheese and tomato, which I picked up with my gnarled up hand. Yep, that sounds and, about right. And I picked it up and I shoved it into my mouth. And then I reached down because I had one of those white napkins on, on my thing and put it to the side. I reached down and I cleaned my hands off to find out oh, that no. I had cleaned my hands off on her wedding dress. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The, the horror, as I realized, I'd been married for about an hour. Oh, no. <laughs> So now you're divorced. <laughs> <laughs> and she just looked at me like, what? But God bless you. She just laughed. Yeah. And everything was fine. If she wasn't high, the marriage could have been over. <laughs> I, 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 th- I think that weed helped the thing. And I think, well, you know, you normally know get tomato out of things. 
It's not a stain that persists. Right. It's not a wine. Yeah, a well, I, I've spilled a lot of tomato on shirts over <laughs> my life. I've eaten a lot of pasta and made a lot of mistakes. And uh, I've still got those shirts. But you also got lucky with somebody who's pretty chill. She doesn't care about... Mu- like, she she didn't care about having, like, a super frilly... Um... Oh, it, COVID couldn't have helped me more because <laughs> she's British. I'm Australian. We would have had to fly out British relatives and Australian relatives. Everyone just watched on Zoom and it was it was a wonderful day. Um and 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 her her mother Becca, uh, she listens to the podcast every week. Oh, and so I'm always a little conscious of things that I say right. on the podcast, and then I say them anyway. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, she and she still likes me. That's, she still that's likes incredible, me. That's incredible. Honestly, wow. uh, she yeah, she doesn't. Shout care. out to Becca. Yeah, Becca. <laughs> Becca said it. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? You doing good there, mum? Yeah. yeah, she's your I, mom I, now. I, I yep. call her mum. She's exactly the same age difference of me and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she she's higher up, and then I'm, and I'm in the middle yeah. there. So I could have married either of them, but I, uh, <laughs> I I chose I chose Tazy, and I'm very happy. It was uh it was very funny on the way there. We were we 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 were in a limo. Me, you, JJ, uh, Kate, and your son, and um. And I remember as we got to, it's in old Vegas and it, there is a transition getting in the old Vegas, especially the older part where you're like, ah, yeah, this neighborhood's changing a little bit. <laughs> and I remember looking out the window and you're, you were like, yeah, it's sort of a shitty area. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yep, this is where you're getting married. And then we pulled up and I was like, oh boy. But it was, it was really fun. And once you actually got into the little chapel, even though it was like, get him in, get him out, get him in. It was still very sweet and 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 sentimental. It was it was it was it, nice. It was it was, it was it funny was, and sweet. All it was it was fun. It was kitschy. It was beautiful. They play the they play the 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 walk in music. They walk Wars in March? right. Yeah, it's very similar. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars nicked it, man. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so they, they they walk in, but it's not like it's like on an IP three and MP three player yeah. and a, and a, a Bluetooth speaker. It, it's, yeah, and it, it's, it was it was. It was, it was. Uh, I don't know if you're saying that, but it was your bride and your son, yeah. and and they're walking because he was giving her away, which was really yeah. cute. It was so cute. Yeah. And they walk into the yeah. What were you saying? The they walk in and they, uh, the, the 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 stereo is from like the 1980s. <laughs> yeah, it's like a CD, and they press play, kink like that, da, 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 and there's no soft fade, and then she gets to the end, conk off. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like one you would have gotten with Marlboro Miles. I don't know if you remember those, but like you could like back out, oh, free stereo, cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Like it, yeah, it was, was, it was a boombox. Yeah. <laughs> It's just right there next to a Bible. That's, yeah. how, that's, that's how you keep tradition going. You don't change shit. And, and they go, can you all stand for the brothers? There's eight of us in there. And Jason Whitehead stands up. And he's 6'1". So it, there should have been more clearance. But he just smashed his head into a chandelier. <laughs> just, the spatial awareness on that guy is not high. It was right in shot of the, of the Zoom. Yeah. So, so we're, all sit- all we're all sitting head. there. We're all texting each other going, so on brand for JJ. <laughs> <laughs> and then the whole time he's like checking the back of his head for blood and i'm like what do you think you hit your head it broke the tension because i was very nervous and then and then when that happened we all laughed and then it was all good yeah it was good there's a there's a part at the end of the video where forrest is like everybody out jj watch your head (laughs) (laughs) i said that yeah yeah i don't remember so all right so uh we we have have iron brew in the studio iron brew so jim has he said he had, has had Iron Brew plenty of times, so he didn't need to have it lukewarm. So, there you go. Yeah. Horse and Kelly have on ice. That's it. That's they have on it. ice and lukewarm. I have an additional one that has vodka in it. Luis and I have vodka. So I want people to see them. the color, though. Like, yeah, come it's, on. It's, 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 it looks like cleaner. It's rust from Goethe's is where yeah, it originally it comes it, from. It's yeah. not quite fan. It's like, yeah, it looks like watered down it's, fan, which it's, someone said It's in the rusty. Comments. It's the water. If you've had a car from back in the day that's really rusty and then it rains. It smells like fucking medicine. I was just thinking that it smells like kids' medicine. All right, everybody. In. Oh. Okay, so I'm doing I'm, lukewarm. Yeah, I'm doing first. lukewarm first. It doesn't Jeez. doesn't smell as bad as I think it's gonna taste. Lukewarm. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. Just tastes. Oh. Like, it literally tastes like medicine. That's fine. It's it, not good. It beats Coca Cola though. How does how does it beat Coca Cola? It's like an orangey. No, but imagine this is like what you look forward to now. Yeah. It tastes like medicine. It's not good. Yeah. It's. I mean, I was preparing myself for truly like rust flavored. No, uh, I, the, 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 uh, only, the only ingredient. Did you drink it, Louise? 
Yeah, yeah. No, it actually tastes a lot like uh, just a Peruvian soda. You Inca know what? Cola. I don't yeah. hate it. Way to make it ethnic. The, I'm, a, I'm an Aaron <laughs> Brew fan now. The it's, only... Are you having it with the vodka? Is, no, it's quite nice with vodka, but... The vodka the, one's okay. The only ingredients that I recognize is carbonated water. <laughs> one of the other ones. And that was number four. Is Gerder's on there? <laughs> Bravehearts no, bone. Uh, <laughs> sugar, acid, some coloring, There's acid? some preservatives. What? Not acid, acid. And then and uh, colors. Okay. More colors, uh, something that's just called sport sunset yellow. Oh no, that's the color. <laughs> sunset uh, yellow. I, gonna... I was recommended to get the 1901 batch, which is when they went back and used the original recipe, right. and it's not available anywhere. So I emailed the company. I was like, "Can we have a batch of that?" They go, "Oh, that was limited. We're not making those anymore." Yeah. So this is all I could get. No, the original the, 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 the original batch <laughs> was just water from Flint, Michigan. <laughs> that's a that's good why answer. that's why they won't fix it. <laughs> I I don't mind it. It's taste. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like choose. I wouldn't choose yeah, it would out of choose. a line. Would you drink this over Coca Cola? Mm, oh no. No. What soda in America would you drink this over? Zero. Pepsi. Um. Oh jeez. You know it's, it's got an aftertaste. To me, it's in line with any type of like orange soda that we have here except the ones here are sweeter so this is actually more to i don't i don't eat it, as much sugar now so i think this like, is more tolerable to it feels me. like adult fanta yeah a little bit it doesn't uh, even taste like orange soda to me it's more like bubble gum kind of no mm-hmm. anyone else got that mm-hmm. just me mm-hmm. yeah, right. no, 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 it's like, and, and its logo that. is like a weightlifting guy Lifting up things there like it's, it's giving him energy. Wow, uh, that that ties in quite nicely to our episode. Well, today. we're recording this before. How would we say that? <laughs> Fuck. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, she was about to introduce uh, the guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you don't know what he does. I do now. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> First, let's uh, do our social stuff. Okay. Before we introduce our guest. Oh, yeah. Please uh, subscribe to our podcast. If you're listening to this and you just like, find it each week don't do that subscribe on apple podcasts or spotify or stitcher also the youtube uh go to jim jeffrey's channel and subscribe on there i got an email this morning with all five star reviews they compile them every week Ooh. and so i so people are listening Very nice. and our, 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 our listenership is going up i know we are getting more and more listeners every week so thank you for that Revi- and if you haven't, because there's more people listening than are on our Instagram page, please follow our Instagram page. It's I D K A T. What do you podcast? What, podcast. what do you think? I D K A T uh, podcast. Because uh, they, they give you the statistics on the podcast. What do you think our number one city for listening to the podcast is in the world? Yeah, somewhere in Australia. I was gonna say Sydney or it's, it's weird because Los we're, Angeles. Uh, was like, okay. Oh, Los is Angeles. it really? And what do you think? Bum, it, what bum, do you? Th- bum, what, and then it's bum, and then it's bum, and then it's uh, New York and then it's Chicago. It all makes sense, right? Oh, my mom okay. listens. So but that but makes sense. our number one state is California by a mile, by a mile. Most of our listeners are Californians. But our second state threw me. Hello, Texas. Texas. Wow, Texas, <laughs> Texas well, loves us. You gun nut, bloody. But it's population. It's the second big largest population. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. After California. Oh, well, I thought New York State or something would be a bigger population. No. Yeah. Oh, Texas well, it just so makes big. sense then. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't as fun. <laughs> Sec- second country is Australia. Third country is Canada. No, Great Britain. Fourth country is Canada. And then in with a bullet, it's like I think it's Germany or New Zealand. <laughs> New Zealand makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But there's only three million of them. I know, but you know, we got all of them. Yeah, and they only have four phones in between them and all that <laughs> stuff. If you would have said Slovenia, I would have been. Oh no, no, no! We, we're doing terrible in Slovenia. <laughs> we do, we, we do well in Austria. Austria, Austria. Huh. Yeah, we do well in Austria. Mm. Yeah, we're definitely Vienna. a very international podcast for sure. Yeah, sixty uh, percent of our listeners are not from the United States of America. Mm-hmm. This is growing on me. I'm drinking it now. I, 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 I kind of like, like it. I'm like, I'm like I hated it. I think it. you now guys like, set thirsty. me up perfectly because I was really expecting something so mm. disgusting. No, I it, it, it. it has to be okay to be in number one spot. I don't taste the girders. You, you can taste rust, though, right? No. Don't you think it's what rust would taste let me like? Let me do the lukewarm one again. If this is what rust tastes like, I'm going to go lick some count, things later. Count me in. <laughs> All right. <Okay>. Color <laughs> me. Color yeah, me. Yeah, it was actually it, it, it was it, it, it was actually named in New Zealand and it's pronounced iron bro, but there. <laughs> iron hey, brew. Hey brew. Iron brew. It's definitely better with ice. That's the joke cuz New Zealanders say the word bro brew. 
Yeah, why would Bruce. you serve this to us without ice, Jack? Because I gave you an ice one. Taste test. But why would you even do it without ice? Well, because just so you could get the whole range of what it tastes like. Who drinks any soda without ice? Uh, lots of European countries. Drink. Oh no, no, no. Oh, the, I the, the, the I British. Oh, that. the British. Yeah. The, the, mostly the Scottish people would probably drink this without ice. Yeah. Because the British don't have great dental plans, you see, <laughs> and, and all of them's like, it hurts my teeth, <laughs> and then and then they're like, and then they're like, but if you get ice, because they don't. America has. The self-serving soft drinks at the fast food where you go fill it up yourself. In your restaurants, the unlimited soft drinks where it keeps filling it up, filling it up, filling it up. Everywhere else in the world, your dad, you'd get a Coca-Cola and you'd go, all right, I have to make this sit out yeah. the whole meal, right? Don't waste it too much because you, you, you don't get a second Coke. Your dad's not buying you a fucking second Coke. <laughs> and so, so there's a theory there that the ice means you're going to get less soft drink. Where in America, you don't give a fuck about less soft drink. Because it's unlimited soft drink. Oh, that makes America. sense. America. Yeah, so that's why you're more ice-bound people. All right. Well, so. and it tastes better. I but. can't wait for the episode on ice. <laughs> I yeah. I really like ice or carpet, like you mentioned. We're never, oh. we're never doing it on carpet, just so you know. Carpet's happening. Oh. If what do it, you mean? If it runs for thirty years, we'll have to do carpet. What about was, rugs? Uh, I was in an rugs? Empire carpet commercial. This would be a great time to promote that. Mm. If we do a carpet, they, there's, <laughs> we, there's, there's, there's there's shag pile, and what there's is, other ones. Shag pile carpet. Is shag pile. Called? Shag pile's the stuff from the seventies. It's it just real, called shag. It's oh. real thick. The, oh. the shag pile carpet. Yeah, yeah I've heard. I've heard shag. We just call it shag. Oh, well, I call it shag pile. And that sounded more like a sexual yeah. move. <laughs> we got a shag pile on the no, carpet. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I've got, I've got, I've got a, I've got a couple of shag piles. <laughs> Scheduled been, on Tuesday. I've been taking up the ass too much. I got shag piles. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I was even going there. <laughs> Where were you going? <laughs> Just like having sex on a carpet would be a shag pile. No, Jack. Yeah, there's no. got to be more than two people no, for that's it to a, be a pile. The shag in, that could be a pile. It could be anywhere. Have you? Because you. <laughs> but he went hemorrhoids. I wasn't <laughs> even thinking. You've, on, you've only have had sex a few times, Jack. Now, now, have you ever used anything beside a bed? Is there any other surface you've ventured out to? Nope. Uh, I yeah. could try a shag. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You'll try other things. You'll try benches and tables and pool tables and floors and kitchen floors and things and all this type of stuff. Sand. Yeah. Yeah, sand sand is the worst You'll do it on a beach You'll do it on all these different things You always go back to the bed Yeah The bed's the best one I agree yeah. so, Some people are like Where's the most adventurous place you've had sex As if you're supposed to have this long list And I'm like I've tried places that are adventurous And none of them are better than a bed <laughs> Top there, of a mountain there, there's, <laughs> like, there's, that, there's that urban myth There's that urban myth that uh, I think it was an Australian radio show Or something like that Where they, they call up a couple Right, so they they call they call up the couples, and the couples he has to answer some questions, and then she has to answer the questions to see if you know it's the it's the honeymoon yeah, game, yeah. the honeymoon game. See if they get it right. So so the guy the guy they go, uh, where was the last place you had sex? And he goes uh, in the living room on the sofa, right? Uh -huh. And then they ring up the wife and they go and the, to win this prize, and they go, where was the last place you had sex? And she's like, oh, I don't want to say, I don't want to say. He goes, come on, we're going to win a car. We're going to win a whatever. We're going to just, just tell him, just tell him. And she went, in the ass. <laughs> in the living room on the couch. Uh, as long yeah. as it was in the same place. So. All right. Um, so let's welcome our guest in for this week. Uh, if I'm mispronouncing this, let me know. But please welcome our guest, Martins Lissis. That's close enough. Uh, well, I'll say it right for us. Uh, Martins Martins Leeches. Leeches. Okay. Martins Leeches. Leeches. Like, yeah. like the fruit. Mm. Yeah. I don't think he's related it, to the no? fruit. Is it, <laughs> is it Leeches or Leeches? Leeches. Leeches. And in, 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 uh, my language is actually Martins Leeches. You can tell him what language it is. That's not okay. Latvian. I'm from Latvia, so. Oh, that for you. All right. That doesn't help me at all. I know. That's why I said he could say it. <laughs> well, I, I, I think, I, okay, so you're sitting in front of a Tesla car. You've got a Monster Energy seat. You have a T-shirt that says, I'm tired. Uh, there's something called Total Fuel in the background. He has something to do with caffeine or something that picks you up. <laughs> does he he's look a, like that? He's an expert in caffeine. <laughs> no. <laughs> he, what do you mean, does he look like that? He may not have slept for years. <laughs> um, so I want to say uh, something to do with energy drinks. No. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Well, I'll ask a question then. Um, do is, uh, is your expertise something to do with working out? Never asked that ever. Am I allowed to answer these? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 
Uh, are you are you a, 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 a weightlifter? No. Oh, okay, something to do with working out, and it's and it's. I'm tired and total body fuel. Uh, do you work in, with supplements? Don't, don't work with supplements. Yeah, it like is is your expertise with supplements? I I'm not asking you if you take steroids. That's, <laughs> that's is that a no? Yeah. Not my expertise. No, no. not my expertise. Um, uh, does it involve um, uh, sex in any way? Well, I will say, well, before we keep All going, right. before we keep going, weightlifting is in the field, sort right? of. Is it? Yeah. You own the Olympics. It's part of it, but I mean, weightlifting is a, you know, if you talk about weightlifting, that is a very specified sport. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, so you're involved in sport. Yes. Okay. So he's involved in sport. Uh, uh, he's, uh, he's a yeah. badminton player. And now I'm trying to think of all the great Latvian sports. Um, great Latvian sports. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a jockey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a jockey. He just looks big, but it's all from his perspective. Yeah, the exactly, camera is very close. Yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Uh, does your sport involve? Um, yeah, that's a good one. Does your sport involve animals? Huh. Uh I have heard that it could. He's thinking about it right now. Oh, like, falcon racing. <laughs> uh, does it? Inv I give. I give up. I'm not, I'm not going to get this. If if I hear it could involve animals, and, <laughs> and, and, you know, a little bit of weightlifting, a little bit, a little bit, of, little bit of weightlifting <laughs> could involve animals. <laughs> what the? Uh, um, it's goathead tennis. <laughs> uh, Martins leeches is the reigning world's strongest man. But of course it involves weight. Yeah. You're the strongest man in the world? Yeah, I work out right here and there. That's just happened. I love those shows. Me and my son watch you fucking people pick up rocks and shit. That's right. <laughs> you, you pick up the big boulders and you put them on top of little stands and you get another That's one and then do. and then go pull a truck for me. Oh, uh, fuck. You might be really good on this episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I watch this stuff. It's all about flipping shit. Let me know. <laughs> Oh, you're the world's strongest man. That's actually, oh, oh, actually, that's very impressive. That must, that must be a wonderful feeling to be the world's strongest man. Does it's that quite excellent? Yeah. Does that help you pick up chicks? I, I would say so. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Uh, like, can you pick up like five of them? <laughs> let me give him. Yeah. Let, me, let me do your whole intro, Martins. Uh, the world's most serious goof and strength sports, Martins Lichis, aka the Dragon, is the current reigning world's strongest man at six foot three inches and weighing three hundred fifty pounds. He's taking on the monsters. He's taken on monsters of the sport like the Mountain and Brian Shaw. Not related. Brian Shaw. Both standing at around six foot eight and four hundred fifty pounds. He's a lot smaller. Oh, Martins optimizes body mechanics and technique to take on much larger opponents you can find him on instagram or on youtube being his goofy self at martins lichis that's m-a-r-t-i-n-s-l-i-c-i-s thanks for being here this might be my favorite topic we've ever done <laughs> i don't know if i'm this is right up there with cheese <laughs> oh, right. you know what's Steve, great is that oh, he, he actually commented on one of our clips like this is fucking awesome i'd love to do he probably didn't say fucking that was that's my edit uh, <laughs> a few just to make sure it got through yeah he's like i would love to do this so we reached out to him so this this is a perfect storm right here all right yeah. ask me away i think i know all this i know you, 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 i watch this on the telly i'm excited <laughs> okay so this is what we're gonna do Mar martin's well, 2019 one you'll see me yeah. which, which one you can when are you competing next uh next i'm gonna compete in march we have to wear a face mask to do that i i feel like that would get in the way will they make you wear face masks uh, no. Uh, no will, will there be an audience or will there be cardboard cutouts of people wearing monsters? cardboard cutouts will I have to do for now. Okay. But, uh, yeah, but he lives in LA, so if you want him to pick you up at any point, carry yeah. you around I'll, no, for I'll, training. I would love to see one of those live. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm no, fine. like pick you up. Yeah, yeah, I know the joke. No, no, he, there's on his Instagram. There's there's a video of him picking up a, a, a former NFL player, Vernon Davis. He was a tight end. And I also did Gronkowski. Yeah, yeah, he's picking he's picking him up over his head like these giant. From the Tom and Gronk show. From the Tom and Gronk show. <laughs> no, that's from that's from our last episode. <laughs> um, all right, Martin. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna ask Jim a bunch of questions about strongman competitions and and that kind of things. Um, he's gonna 
try and answer them and tell us as much as he knows about it. And then we're going to see how well he did. You're going to rate him on his accuracy, zero through 10, 10 being the best. So Let's just go. listen to his answers for now and we'll take notes and then we'll come back to you and we'll, we'll get going. So, uh, all right. Uh, what are strongman competitions? Uh, it's, it's, we're trying to find the strongest man on earth and they, they, they're a mixed form of events. Um, ranging from, as I said, pulling vehicles to lifting rocks to flipping things over and all that type of stuff. There's a lot of lifting and flipping of things. <laughs> lifting and flipping. Yeah, you're flipping car tires and shit like that. Then there's dragging involved. Yep. There's dragging and lifting and flipping. <laughs> it sounds like Suge Knight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when and where did they originate? Strong people. Since the dawn of time. No, the competitions. <laughs> um, uh, the competitions, I reckon, oh, it feels like something. It feels, it feels like something the Greek would do, but now I might be getting mixed up with the Olympics and them starting that. But like, I always think of like Olympias and like holding things apart, like like the Greek gods. I'm I'm gonna hesitate guess it. Greece. 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 What year do you think? Ah, uh, fucking eighty two. They, 82? Yeah, 19, I reckon, 1982? I think the competition... You just said 82, so I don't know. What I mean. think the competitions, as we know them on TV, mm -hmm. are a more recent thing. I don't sure. remember them. I don't think they're from... The, but I think the, the strongman competition that we know about now yeah, would have started in the man. 80s or something. I remember like like the first time they were doing it, they were flipping like fluoro tires. And in the background, it was like... The flipping tires. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are they different than, let's say, CrossFit or the Highland Games? They're not pussies. <laughs> uh, the Highland Games are, are like a Scottish thing that has been going on um, for a very, very long time. That's been going on for hundreds of years. And that's uh, like Kaber, 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 Kaber or Kaber tossing, where they get the, the wood, the big, the pole. I am so impressed right now. They get the right pole now. and they try to flip it in one thing. They have to throw it so hard that it gets back on its axis and it flips over to the other side. Um, so that's like a Scottish Highland uh, feats of strength. And what was the other one that you asked about? CrossFit. Cross, well, CrossFit's just uh, people doing squats and burpees faster than ever. And it's more about endurance than it is about strength and stuff. Although, of course, strength is involved. But, and endurance is involved in this competition. But I don't, I'm looking at this man. I don't think he is up to do 50 burpees. You know no. what I mean? Like I don't. Oh, you probably can. You probably can. I'm not saying you can't, but that's not his skill. Is the burpee or the fucking plank? His his skill is lifting up people who do planks and burpees. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you name six events in the strongman competition? Um, I don't know the names of them and stuff. Okay, but there's the one where they have to throw shit over a. Like a fucking uh, like a like a high jump pole, like a pole vault length of thing. Uh -huh. They get I can't remember what they throw. I think it's like little uh, like uh, concrete balls or steel balls. You know what I mean? It could, like like well maybe cowbells or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they have to chuck them over, and they get they get they get progressively heavier as you go along, and they have to do it within a certain amount of time. Then there's the one where they have to lift up the the round boulders, mm -hmm. and they have to put them on top of little podiums, and the boulders get high um, larger as they go along. I don't I'm not sure if the if the actual podiums get higher but that one's a big one where they and then they're gonna get it onto another one that one's a good one then they have to just fucking drag a truck with their teeth or some shit right <laughs> no, they, they, have to, they have to they have to get a harness and they have to pull a truck a certain amount of distance or just something i think every year it might change with their teeth one year it's a truck then it's a train then it's a train without a track that one's very difficult right <laughs> Um, and then not with their teeth, they have like a harness or no, they have a rope. There's just a rope they get and they pull it over and they go with the rope. Uh, then there's the, the flipping of, of tires, the tire flipping. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's, uh, then there's the, the lift something up above your head for the longest time without shitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You can answer this question afterwards, but I heard there's a lot of tampons and assholes in this event. 
because uh, like people can follow through because of the I they do it in in weightlifting and stuff like that. But that may be an urban myth. Yeah. I hope it's not. Um, <laughs> it's very popular with Eastern Europeans and Americans are uh-huh. very very into it. That's like a very. Uh, European, well, I think Western Europeans as well, but like, because yeah, there's always a guy from Germany, there's always, but then there's always an American guy that's always, always got tattoos all over his fucking arms and he's good. <laughs> Buck Davis or something like that. <laughs> and then fucking Buck comes up and he, and he has to lift something and he goes, oh, yeah, yeah. And then like all the Eastern Europeans are like, I just lift things up onto stones. I don't care. I don't just, you go fuck yourself, fuck face with your fucking lifting rock. Right? Okay. okay, there's that one. Wait, um, is that an event? That was an uh, event. Yeah, uh, <laughs> fuck face. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna name some of the events now. These are the names of them, and you okay. tell me what this means. Mm-hmm. You Far- get one, five. What's I got. That? What's that? You got five. You still have one more guest. Oh, I still have one more guest. One more guest. Um, uh, thanks. Uh, okay, so there's throwing over the pole. Thing, thing, thing. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You have throw. You have throw shit over pole. Yeah. Round boulders. <laughs> drag a truck by teeth. Flipping tires. <laughs> Buck Davis. And then, <laughs> and then Buck Davis. Something was shitting yourself. Yeah, no, the shitting yourself was obviously a joke. <laughs> um, Unless it's okay. True. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. So there's nothing that involves kicking or lifting with your feet. There's a lot. There's more dragging involved sport. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. There's a. There's one that involves smashing something, maybe like a, something that involves a hammer and cracking through rocks. Hammer mm-hmm. smash. Hammer yeah. smash. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna name the events now. All right. oh, I, I, okay. I'm gonna throw in the kyber toss as one of the ones. Ah. Ro- I'm gonna take that out instead of rock smashing. Okay. So the the, the, ki- the kyber toss um, yeah. I'm going to add into it, even though that's a Scottish Highlandy thing. But I'm gonna say that they they do that here as well. Okay. So what top? Caber toss? Yeah, so caber is one that I see listed here. The Mm -hmm. caber toss, you have that. So I'm going to, these are the other five. I'm, and you tell me which one's which. Okay. Farmer's walk. Uh, Farmer's walk. What happens Uh, there? um, You got to get as many animals on your dick. (laughs) (laughs) On your dick? (laughs) (laughs) And you still got to walk around like you're normal. Okay. Like, because an actual farmer just do it with the sheep, but they do it like a full cow. Mm. How many animals could you get on your dick, Jim? Small animals, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yeah, you get, I, 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 could, I could squish on seven or eight rats. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> squish them on. <laughs> I'd have to cut a hole in the end of their head and make them all. You like, have some little birds uh, perched on there. Forget yeah, pizza yeah. rat. It's like, penis rat from Yeah, yeah. On. And then I could get some birds to sit on top. It depends how aroused I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the McLashen Stones. Oh, that's the Mc, McLashen Stones. That's where you smash stones with that's hammers. Okay, that's yeah. that's the, with a McDonald's burger. Smash them. <laughs> the Hercules Hold. The Hercules Hold. The Hercules. Okay, so. Oh, that's lifting shit above your head for very long. That's the Hercules pose. So that's holding Hold. something yeah. above your head for as long as possible. Cable, caber toss. You already said them. Pole pushing. Pole pushing. Is that. Um, oh, I've seen that one. I, I might be mixing it up with that show that The Rock has on NBC at the moment. The Titan Games. Yeah, the, ti- the Titan Games <laughs> where there's two people and they push poles through a thing and they stand on other ends and it's like a tug of war but with a pole. And then the crucifix. What the, there? the crucifix is... Uh, Oh God. So, so the crucifix in, in the in the um, in the Olympics is the position that you do on the on the rings. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that these guys' bodies are built for that position. So, what would they do? Um, I'm going to say it would be involved holding up a certain amount of weights with your arms fully extended over a certain level of, uh, past the bottom of your rib cage for as long as possible. Wow. Yeah, you got that wrong. You got to nail your hands into some wood. And, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, who tends to be the best in the strongman competitions? You kind of went over this already. We'll, we'll skip that. Well, him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. He, he's the best. He's the best. Look at his fucking arms, man. Eastern <laughs> Europeans. <laughs> so Eastern Europeans and Buck Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The yeah no, yeah. America does well. Astra- but Buck Davis Australia is always has one bloke called Gavin who, <laughs> who comes in and gives it a go. 
<laughs> G- Gavin wasn't even really in the competition. He was just backpacking around trying to find himself and he thought it would be a bit of a laugh. And he came in 27th out of a field of 25. <laughs> uh, is there a Strongman Hall of Fame? If so, how many people have been inducted? Uh, well, of course there is. There's a Strongman Hall of Fame. Where's it at? Oh, um, uh, uh, under a rock. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> if you you can't get in, you can't get in. <laughs> That's a big rock. You gotta <laughs> That's how you get in the hall of okay, fame. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that there's twenty guys. Twenty guys. Can 20, you name anybody? Twenty guys and one German woman from the mid nineties. Uh, yeah. And can you name any of them? Do you know? Uh, Other I, than Martins, do you, yeah, can you name I, any? I, I could recognize the, you know. Well, there's I, Buck I, Davis, of course. There, there's Buck Davis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Buck there's, Davis Jr. There's, there's, there's Buck Davis. Uh, Joe Finkel. Uh, <laughs> of course, Joe of course, Finkel. Joe Finkel. Yeah, Joe Finkel. He's he, always on the podcast. Joe he Finkel does. threw the spaceship up into the air. <laughs> he's, he's a repeat offender on this podcast, Martins. Joe Finkel. So he's always, he's no. always an answer if when Jim doesn't know. So. Uh, a couple more questions and let's get to Martins. Um, uh, h- how does judging work? Like, how do they judge? Oh, oh, what you do is you look at someone and you make uh, you make assessments. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, a strong man. Like that, pro- that person probably smells. Uh, <laughs> Jack looks like a guy who never gets laid. That's how, you know, that's how, hey. that's how, that's how judging works. Uh, in the competition. Uh, yeah, Luis isn't a natural blonde. Um, <laughs> Holy shit, his hair. I didn't, I yeah, didn't know his yeah, hair yeah, was a yeah. no, You, oh, you thought it was a different person. It's <laughs> like he's gone into the witness protection program. Corner boy's gone rogue. Um, decision. Uh, and then the judging, the judging works, it would be, I think it's the same. Okay, so there's some, there's some events that are just quintessential. You did seven rocks. You did nine rocks. Yeah. Stuff like that. And then there's other things where they go, they, they do it the same as like diving in the Olympics mm-hmm. where you have... Uh, let's say six judges and they take away the best and the worst score and then they average right. the, the other ones out. It's like form could matter, yeah. maybe. Okay. Um, how do you qualify and does each country get a representative? Uh, I don't believe each country gets a... No, of course each com- country doesn't get a representative. <laughs> and, and from the country of, of Mauritius, <laughs> we, we, we have Martine. The the rock lifter and then he just shows up and he's really thin and he's like no 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 we could have like Tonga could have about ten people couldn't they I I think I think maybe they might limit the amount a country can have I think there may be a limit on how how many a country can have but I don't believe that every country can get a person in because you know we, 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 I actually I was about to pick on New Zealand but fucking hell there'd be some Maori cunts who could really fucking <laughs> yeah, lift exactly. rocks I tell you. Oh, I, tell you, yeah. I tell you, there'd be Maoris who could crush this sport. <laughs> crush it. Uh, uh, how many calories per day does the average strongman consume? Um, okay, so I okay, so the, the average adult male should consume between, uh, like to lose weight, 2,000, 2,500 to make, remain even, 3,000 to gain That's weight. That's just regular male. Regular male. Now, I, I remember reading that Michael Phelps, who isn't that strong, but is uh, ex- extremely athletic, in case you didn't know. No. Um, and Michael Phelps used to consume, I believe, 10, 12,000 calories a day. Wow. What? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because cause he, was, he was swimming for nine hours a day. He did Jack. shit. He didn't just sit yeah. on the couch, Jack. Yeah, but, <laughs> well, but how many, but he how did many calories am I eating? <laughs> yeah, but he could, he could just eat and eat and eat because he was swimming. He was burning off so yeah. much. Now, he's probably sensible about it, but I hear he was eating lots of chocolate. I don't know. Uh, I shagged Ooh. his ex girlfriend. I used to be anyway, with so her. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, well, not with her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so so uh, so so I would assume it would be a con- uh, maybe similar to that. So I'm going to say twelve thousand, ten to twelve thousand calories a day. Okay. Uh, who holds the record for the most world's strongest man wins okay. like titles? What and how many? What? And, and what countries is? is okay, well, I don't know their names. Okay. Um, I don't know the name, but. Uh, who has the most? So, so, how many wins do you think they had? And then, what country do you think they're, they were? He was from. Uh, I would think um, there would be a guy who has six wins, and I'm going to give it to Germany. Germany. Okay, that's it for uh, for Jim's yeah. Jim's answers. Yeah. Martins, thanks for being patient and sitting there. Uh, on a scale, on a from zero to ten, ten being the best. How did Jim do on accuracy when it comes to the strongman competition? He does know about that. I, I give him like a seven or an eight. Like he's not bad. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Okay. 
a few mistakes here and there. Didn't know the names, but got the gist of it. Yeah, that's that's it's like the female body parts, <laughs> <laughs> or just females in general. I, I still, don't know her name, but I, I know, get the gist I know of what it. A clitoris is. I'm still not sure what bit the labia. What the <laughs> fuck? There's the hole in the clitoris, and what more information do I need? <laughs> Obviously, no more information. <laughs> yeah. uh, confidence, Kelly. How do you know? I mean, I was wildly impressed. To, to be honest, with how much he knew, um, and you were very confident. I'm giving you a nine yeah. on confidence. Yeah, Woo. yeah, yeah. Nine, uh, and on et cetera, I'm going to give you ten thousand. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Best yeah. score ever. That's a lot, yeah. So your score is ten thousand and seventeen. That's pretty high score. That's pretty good. Pretty good score. That makes your a heavyweight. It was lightweight, middleweight, heavyweight. You're a heavyweight all right, today. All right. Yeah, you need to lose weight. Now, do they <laughs> do they have categories like strongman competition for guys that are five foot two? Or is it? It's just a blanket yeah. thing, right? They have like it's more of a modern thing. Like nowadays, they've opened up to middleweights, uh, uh, lightweights, and uh, now heavyweights as well. So they they have all the weight class. All oh, right, so you can have like a real short, skinny fella that looks yeah. like a jockey, and then the horse is riding him, and we go, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let's start off. I asked Jim what is a strongman competition, and when and where did they originate? He said that. Uh, they are uh, what a mixed combination, com- mixed form of events: pulling vehicles, rocks, flipping things over, lots of lifting and flipping. Uh, and Dragging. They were in Greece in 1982. How, how did you do there? What do you? <laughs> um, I mean, it, it is one of the. It's known as uh, the world's strongest man. Is known as one of the uh, oldest um, or longest running reality TV shows. But I, I believe it started in the 70s. Or even the 60s. Yeah, it was 1977 is what I saw. Yeah. The year I was born. Oh, really? Star Wars was in the cinema. Rocky <laughs> had just won the Oscar and Elvis died. And Jim Jeffries was brought into this world. The <laughs> yeah. Vietnam War was winding down. <laughs> Was it? I don't know. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's going to be a hard episode. New, for new you. episode. <laughs> uh, and so it's, it's mixed form events, pulling vehicles. Do you pull vehicles? Yeah, oh. absolutely. All right. Well, not know. with our teeth. No, no, that does being silly. But he corrected himself. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. But okay. it is with a rope over the shoulder, right? It's not with a harness. It's a harness. It's a oh. harness. You get latched in. You also put a rope in front of you. Oh, the lead rope you can pull that's, on. That's okay. how you pull the vehicle. But they, they do it either way. They've had so many variants. So I, I'm counting. Do, do you, this is just off topic quickly. Do you get a lot of people ask you to help them move? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I wear this shirt. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's why it's best to not have any skills in anything and definitely don't own a pickup truck. Oh, oh! It, this is why my whole life I behaved unreliably. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody would ask People you. don't ask you to do things. Yeah. He's unreliable. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you're on time. You're very, oh, I'm very you're punctual. Very punch, punch I'm very punctual to yeah. show up and go. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would imagine a lot of people ask you to move stuff because there's like as I'm getting older, just like I had to pick up a 50 pound bag of sand the other day, and I was like, I can't do it. I can't. That would be nothing to you, fifty pounds, I believe. So, you gotta, you gotta what, believe, man. What's 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 what can you bench? I actually really rarely bench, and that's probably one of my worst lifts. Overhead, I could press four hundred sixty pounds with one arm, about two seventy five or two hundred eighty pounds. And my best deadlift has been uh, nine hundred seventy pounds or four hundred forty kilos. Pathetic. <laughs> so, so, so you're you're thirty pounds off lifting a ton. Yeah. Now a ton's 2,000. Yeah, oh, is it 2,000? Yeah. Ah, you bloody weakling. <laughs> <laughs> 970 pounds. That's fucking incredible. The, on, on his Instagram, I was looking at your Instagram, Martins, and there's, uh, I guess it's in the competition, you're de- lifting 750? Is that like a deadlift that you're, where you're, you're squatting it seven times? Well, right? I was a rep- doing repetition with 750 pounds. Have you ever had a yeah. doctor advise you, like you've gone in and you go, oh, my joint's a bit sore, and then they go, have you been doing any strenuous activity? <laughs> and then you, you, and you go, oh, I lifted 970 pounds the other day, and the doctor's like, well, you should lay off that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my joints crack when I get off the couch, so the thought of squatting 700 pounds. <laughs> yeah, my knees crack when I just cross my legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sometimes when you open the fridge, you just rip it out of the wall. <laughs> Here, can you pull up that uh, on his Instagram? The pull up that one of him um, squatting seven hundred fifty pounds. Yeah, that's it. Looks cartoonish. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, just laughing the whole time like the weights don't look insane. real yeah, yeah it, it does look like inflatable balloons unreal holy cow uh, and there you go if you're not watching this sorry but you can go to his Instagram, Martins Lachis. 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 That, that's insane. That's fucking now, insane. Now, my, go to his Instagram and watch it if you're if you're listening to this. It's M A R T I N S L I C I S. I watched that, Martin. Um, why did you stop? Why did you? Why did you? Um, <laughs> why did you give up at the end there? A little lazy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I won. Yeah, that's a good like, you could have done a couple more, but I just feel like you phoned it in a little. I don't know. <laughs> I did. <laughs> uh, when, when you're doing that, that's I always want to ask. So, when you're on that seventh one, is your body just hurting and tired, or are you like, how do you feel? Like the oh, the adrenaline rush is real. I was thinking about I gotta get late tonight, so I need to get a few more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's just women watching there that are just. Oh okay. yeah, there must be. There must be yeah. loads of chicks who and are some guys. It. Yeah. No, no, there'd be loads of guys there, but like any sport has. No, I meant into it. Are, that are into it yeah they're like any it, yeah, there, there must be women who are like there's women who love to date serial killers you know what i mean <laughs> like i'm not saying that but there must be women who lose their shit over just saying that they've shagged the strongest man on earth that must be kelly well i'm asking would you is that a thing you would uh, um, i can awk awkwardly ask you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's super awkward. I was gonna say women love dating serial killers because they put a lot of effort in, and they're they're committed to what they do. And they're so, dangerous. And they're dangerous. Though. Um, I don't I don't know that I have a strongman fetish. Yeah, well, yeah. but give it a go. Yeah. But I'm sure for, for women, it's probably great because girls always think about their weight and like I don't know if I'm gonna crush you. So at least in that situation. Nobody would ever I know, have to worry I, about I, that. I imagine, Martin, when you have sex, you're usually there on top, right? <laughs> you don't try to. Well, how do you do? <laughs> how do you do sex? Do you just put all your body weight on top of somebody and then just? Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm always on the bottom. That's why I date younger. <laughs> I, my my days on top are over. <laughs> you get on top and you go, I'm going to do this forever. I'm at 10, but then I go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just lay on our side and, and run away. Um, all right. Uh, I asked Jim, how different are is the strongman competitions and CrossFit and the Highland Games? He said they're not pussies. Highland Games have been around forever. CrossFit is just squats and burpees. More about endurance than strength. Um yeah, is, uh, endurance. How's your endurance? He was questioning that, Jim was. About 90 seconds of effort. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so right, yeah. So, then I need so, to take a, a little break, and I can go again. You yeah, talking about we, sex? Were you talking about, yeah, sex <laughs> and <laughs> the squats? Would, ha, would, would you be very competitive at the CrossFit Games? Is it the same set of tools? I, 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 uh, I used to be uh, very – when I was lighter, yes. Yeah. Uh, when I was lighter, I, I was actually considering – going the CrossFit route, but I just love Strongman so much and that that's what caught on. So I think lighter yet. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Wait, uh, back to the 90 seconds though. Did you mean between a set of squats or are you mean, were you talking about sex? What's, okay. <laughs> so the endurance. He just, he just nodded at you either either. <laughs> <laughs> Three times the average man. <laughs> um, okay, I asked Jim if he can name six Strongman uh, events in the strongman competition. Um, oh, I forgot to ask you to demonstrate them. We're gonna do that. Maybe we'll do that later. Want me to flip a fucking table? We don't table? exactly have the camera blocked. Yeah, maybe for just it. just with Jack. You just yeah. use Jack as the rock. And I, the, I, and I, the want, I, I want to add in an event: squatting with a big weight on your back. Oh yeah, you yeah. do. That, do you? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> yeah. a good idea. Um, big weight should, squats. <laughs> as I said earlier, you said throw shit over the over a pole, round boulders, <laughs> smash boulders, drag it. Thing with your, your teeth you did change that flipping tires smashing rocks 
and then a tampon up the ass because they're shitting. Is that true? Is there shit? Do you have to be worried can, about? Can people like get like hemorrhoids and stuff from doing this? Oh, I think meant shitting. No, but like things can fall out of your ass because you the strain. Well, you made a girl come so hard, shit fell out of her ass. So <laughs> there's a, it could that, happen. That had nothing to do with lifting anything. <laughs> well, when I was um, preparing, I was competing in a qualifying contest. That where the top three out of like 20 something guys would get invited to World's Strongest Man. I remember I was carrying a mooring bit, something that people tie giant, giant ships to. It was 400 pounds, and the thing was just enormous, and we had to carry it for distance. And um, I, I was just a rookie. No one really looked, looked up to me or thought I would amount to anything, but I was really wanted to show them that so this is the one event I could beat them all in. And I, I remember. Uh, I was going up against Hathor, the, mount, the mountain, you know, the guy from Game of Thrones. Yep. And he, oh. was just, he was the one guy that was ahead of me. I, I was trying to catch up to him. I was like giving it my all. And I remember my whole body was just starting to go loose. My vision was going fuzzy. My legs were starting to become noodles. And then, yeah, surely enough. Yep. I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> shit. The shit they, they came out? They came out? Uh, I mean, luckily I was wearing really tight, you know, <laughs> it was contained. Oh, God. That'd be the worst. So what do you do at the end? You're like, I got to go, guys. Uh, good to see you. And you just like <laughs> run really off. fun. <laughs> is there, is there... I did place just enough to, to get qualified for world, so I thought, you know, I was worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was totally worth it. Good telly. Um, is, is there an event? Is there one of these events? Like, I know Forrest is about to tell me all the different events, but is there an event? Because it feels like they introduce a new event every couple of years. Like they introduce, like, we're going to do this now. Is there an event that they've introduced where you all went, oh, for fuck's sake. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like they said, you're all going to be flipping Mini Coopers, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah there, there have been plenty of those. Uh, my freaking, the one that I was just freaking thought was so stupid was stone pressing. I hate that event. It's and what's, especially, it, what's it? Stone you know, press. The, the Atlas stone that you see us put on podiums. Yeah. Last last year they well, no this year they wanted us to press those over our heads, and they don't have handles. They can slip and smash your skull. So oh, every yeah. time I, was looking at it, I just saw my life flashing before my eyes, like, oh dear, please make it through this event. And I like the fact that the, the person who invents these events. Uh, people with my physique. Yeah, I can't do it at all. <laughs> Sit there and go, make him fucking lift a rock over the head. <laughs> Bet you can't do that. That's, a, that's any TV executive in a nutshell. Do this thing that's impossible, and we're just going to sit back and get the money. Who are you talking to there? Is there another strong man there? This is one of my best buddies, Ron Mark. Oh, you know, um, he's also, he's, uh, he's my How YouTube you YouTube videographer, and uh, he's kind of become like my right-hand man. Ah, uh, okay. I thought you had another strong man there. It's, he, it's East Jack. Yeah. yeah. He, he's a little guy, but he is strong. He's like, what are you, 160 pounds? 175? Yeah. Now, you guys aren't allowed to wear gloves when you do any of those things, right? We're allowed to, but they're not going to help them anything. Gotcha. Well, be intimate with the weights. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Hey. 90 it. seconds. Um, However you feel it. As far as a competition, I asked Jim, one of the competitions I told him was called the Farmer's Walk. He said, that's when you have animals on your dick. <laughs> How did you on that one? Yeah, <laughs> correct? <laughs> oh, uh, well, that's really far off. Um, <laughs> that's really creative, Jim. Thanks. <laughs> uh, no, you just carry weights in either hand. Oh, I know the one. It's like uh, that one should be called the shopping bags. Yeah, <laughs> I know the one. You carry, the, you, you pick up the ones with the handles, and you have to walk as far as you can. You have to walk, 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 and then you can drop them. But you have to get to the finishing line before the other one, and then you pick them up uh, again. Walk, walk, walk. Yeah, it's a shopping bag race. I mean, that's the modern version of shopping bags. Scary. It's like when you're carrying a ton of grocery bags because yeah. you want to take one trip, but you mm -hmm. also have to shit. That's what it, it has looks like. Purpose. <laughs> yeah, the shopping bags. Yeah. They should change that. The, the McGlashan <laughs> Stones. The millennials ever seen it? Yeah, there you go. And in the women's strong, it's called Women Be Shopping. <laughs> 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 Bitches be shopping. <laughs> the the McGlashan Stones, you said it's when they smash stones. They already knew this one. I thought you'd get this. This is, what is this one, Martins? The McGlashan. I actually have no idea. Oh. I don't know about this one. 
Oh, it says it's when the five heavy round stones are put on top of barrels. So I guess it's like the Atlas stone. Is oh, that... it's a specific stone series. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. That's all right, yeah. They, they, all these guys come up with fancy names. Many different competitions have just a different stone series that they add a special name to, but it's all really do you just, Do you have a space in your house that's just filled with all these stones that you go and put things on and all that type of stuff? Is that like... You must have so, to. You must practice these things, of course, and you can't yeah. practice these things in a regular gym because regular gym don't have fucking ropes and cars to pull and all that type of stuff. So, so do you have this just at home? So uh, that's a good question. I'm part owner of a gym in Thousand Oaks in the Ventura Valley called uh, the Training Hall, where we have all this stuff. But during the pandemic, shut down, so we uh, set up this garage space with a little with a squat rack and everything I need in here, which has been very nice. Hmm. Uh, yeah, right. on his Instagram video, I saw you. You get on your scooter and you just—it's like almost next door. You're like, I'm going yeah. to the gym, and you go, bring. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hercules holds. Jim said that's you lift, lift shit. That's pretty over your head. Do you know what the Hercules hold is? Is that the right name? That's um, that's the one where you hold two columns or whatever. There's, there's these handles attached to these columns that are tilting. Yeah, you know, it's a grip event. Right. Uh, Just trying to uh, hold on for your dear life so the columns don't fall. Wow. For grip strength, huh? If you yeah. if you shook any of our hands, could you break it? You think? Like if you wanted to? I don't know about that. Mine for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, that. Let's make it in the trailer. <laughs> uh, well, let's not try that then. I guess. Uh, and then uh, uh, pull pushing. Um, is that what that's called as well? That Jim said that's when one pushes. One on one pull pushing. Almost on point, it's just the big log. That you, and you, there's a circle, right? There's a big drawn out circle. Two two competitors standing. They're holding a pole. They're trying to push or spin the other guy out of the circle. It's like sumo wrestling, but the big log. Yeah. Pole pushing was also how the Second World War started. <laughs> that is a good. Damn. Yeah. That was a, that was that was a smart. deep cut. Deep that was cut. smart. <laughs> Wow. I'm Polish. He's back. <laughs> back with his political jokes. <laughs> uh, and then crucifix, I think Jim had that right. The weighted, you know, you, yep. you, you hold the weights you hold out. out. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. seems like the worst one to me. It is pretty miserable, but no, there's worse. Ah, okay. That is worse. That's, that's like a break compared to other stuff. What's the worst one? I, The one that will really mess with you, I think, is any kind of carrot for distance. Uh, like a Conan's wheel, a wheel where you have to go in a circle forever as long as you possibly can. It's like 750 pounds on your body that you're just carrying your arms like this. You're going in a circle on and on and on until your legs collapse underneath you and you just almost faint. And then do, do you ever see the problem I have with what I, I actually think I, I can lift. Like I've had personal trainers that say I'm quite strong. I can lift things quite well. I'm good mm -hmm. at the lifting. Mm -hmm. But the problem that I have with any exercise whatsoever is that my brain's too smart for it, <laughs> right? My, my, like, my, no. bra my brain goes like this. You don't have to lift this, you know. <laughs> this is like if, if, if I have to move a bit of furniture, my brain's like, all right, we're getting something done. But it's the same thing with jogging. It's like my brain goes like this. I start jogging and my brain goes, you're going further away from the house. The, the more you do this, we're just going to have to do more back. You, or you could just stop right now and go home. And I'm like, that would be more sensible than running pointlessly in one direction and then having to run back. But if I have to, if I have to run from like when I, from, like I said, I have to run from a cop or something, then my brain, my brain would go, oh, that's good. You're running for a purpose. I think I could run then. I've I've seen you run, and the idea of you running from a cop is probably the funniest visual I've ever had. Yeah, I, I, I'm the, I'd. Be more likely to run towards a cop. <laughs> I mean, I'd be running towards those people over there are upsetting me, sir. <laughs> sir, I need your assistance. No, I have a terrible run. If you, I, I saw okay. it. What I, I, I thought because when you run, you think you're running okay. I was in a celebrity soccer match about 15 years ago in Britain, and I played for Fulham because they Fulham didn't have any celebrity fans, right? And each team got all these celebrities and stuff like that. And it was televised, and uh, 
Uh, Ian Wright, the, the the Arsenal striker who was played for England and all that type of stuff, he was doing the commentary, and every time I got the ball, he just couldn't stop laughing. He was like, this guy's got the worst run I've ever seen on a human being. I was like sweating. I have like a gallop. It looks like you're doing a bit when you're running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People think, people think uh, I think I look great. But it's like when you first see a golf swing, you, golf swing, you think, I look really. And then you're like, you're bobbing around. And you're fucking, yeah. yeah. On the Jim Jeffrey show, there's a couple field pieces where you're running. And people would laugh always. And I don't think that was the comedy that was intended was your run. But it was because of your run. It was like the one where we're interviewing all the kids protesting in San Diego, you ran away at the yeah. end, and then the one with the 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 uh, poachers. I have le- I it's... have lent into it. I do a comedy. Ah, okay, All I right. do a comedy run now, but it's only a slight adjustment <laughs> yeah. on my actual. You, run. Just, you just go faster yeah, in yeah. the comedy run. Um, all right, I asked Jim where uh, most of the strongman competitors are from. He said Eastern Europeans and Americans like Buck Davis. And Australians <laughs> have one bloke named Gavin. Australians have one once in a while. So that is that is correct, right? It's mostly Eastern Europeans and Americans, or it's fairly, yeah, yeah. He's on point there. Why is that? Do you know, or do you have any ideas? Um, it just gets we get in the winter, it gets cold and boring. And we just don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> <That's enough shit. laughs> Has there ever been an Australian who was any good? Yeah, actually, uh, there's been quite a few. Um, I don't think an Australian has ever won World Strongest Man, but uh, they, 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 Australians tend to have some competitors in the uh, in the game. Right. Right. And then there's no, is there anyone named Buck Davis? I've never met a guy named Buck Davis. No, but I, I'm right. You, you know the type I'm talking about. He wears. Uh, no, exactly. he, he, yeah. wears, he wears a bandana of an American flag on his fucking head. He has fucking tattoos with snakes down his fucking arms. You know the cut I'm talking about. Well, Buck Davis. There, there, there's a guy named Brian Shaw. That yeah, won a Buck bunch. Davis. <laughs> one of our lights. Was that? One of our lights just went out. Yeah, no, no. The the Brian Shaw was a very good one. He actually is related to Forrest. And his, sign- <laughs> his signature move is when he lifts something, he goes. <laughs> 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 There you go. Uh, My last name's Shaw Martins, if you didn't get that's me. He's hey, about. Jack can do it better. Do an impersonation of if a forest was a world's strongest man lifting a boulder. <laughs> <laughs> me and Forrest were playing golf yesterday, and, and Forrest had a chip up to the thing, and I was standing. I was in the way a, a bit, you know, but he, he should have chipped a bit closer. And he sliced it a bit hard, and the ball was coming towards me. And he couldn't make the word four in time. I and so it. all I heard was, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it worked. It was enough for me to jump out of the way. I almost hit you. <laughs> <laughs> right by Um is uh is there a strong man? Wait, first of all, how many times have you? Is are you uh you won once? I've won once. I made it before this. I made it to the finals three times. So this is my fourth year competing world strongest man. Finally won. Okay. If, if, if I want if I want to put some money on the world strongest man gamble, are you the guy to put the money on? Be honest. Should I put a few bucks on you? Uh, me. Yeah. My- or Tom Stolpen. I'd say those are your top three right who now. Who was the second one? It was Tom Stolpen, you, and who else? Mateusz Kieliskowski. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it Thor, on. Thor just retired. Right. Who just retired? Thor. Thor. Thor just Thor retired. Thor the mountain. Ah, uh, the mountain. Yeah. I was just, it just, yeah that guy. Is he Thor Is he Thor and the mountain? I'm not sure. Uh, well, his name is Half Thor. They abbreviated to Thor, but... He's known as the mountain from Game of Thrones. You know the guy that sure guy's head and pops it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know his real name though. Just um, on the mountain. Have you broken any records? What's your records? Uh, the Steinborn squat record. Yeah, I have that one. It wasn't broken for over a hundred years. Wow. Uh, originally, it was broken by Milo. Yeah, the record was held by Milo Steinborn at a 560 pounds, and I did 565. Uh, and this is a squat where the bar sits on the ground. You have to tilt the bar up, and then you got to rock it onto your back and squat it. Um, now, is steroid use? Um, it, 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 do people use steroids? Is it policed, or is it just like people don't give a fuck? They really don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's how it fucking should be. Yeah, I, yeah. I want to see the world's strongest man. Right. <laughs> I don't care how you fucking get there. Lift that rock. <laughs> 
Um, we're, it, we're, we're testing for all sorts of other stuff like speed and other hardcore drugs, but that's one that we're not testing. Oh, for. right, right, right. So they, they test you for cocaine because yeah. they're like, geez, Joe, Joe Buck or whatever his name is. Joe Buck is confident. <laughs> He's a bit confident today. Mark, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually in the past. That was an issue. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, because... Because because nothing, no drug would be better for lifting heavy things than something that speeds you harder. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this is the, the question that we ask. Is there a Strongman Hall of Fame? Is there? I believe so. Uh, not like, you know, I really don't know much about the thing. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There but, is a Hall of Fame and there's only four inductees so far. Only four? Who mm-hmm. are they? We'll find out. Oh, okay. There's meant to be a comedy. I have a feeling, feeling they probably started it one year and they, they probably forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you saying there's not a lot of organization? Great idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so we have, I'm not going to be able to pronounce any of these things. Uh, these John, things, they're people. John, <laughs> <laughs> have you seen them? John Paul oh. Sigmerson. Yeah. Um, I think this is the guy you just said, Murray, Maurice. Marius Pudzianowski. Yeah. Um, Sven Carlson. Yeah. From Norway. And Bill Kazmaier, who's an American. Yeah, that's a sad list. That, that definitely hasn't been updated for like a decade. You're right, though. That's that's really fucking people who are living in the cold, huh? Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. I feel like there was always Scandinavians in there as well. There's always some fucking Drago looking fuck. My name yeah. is you know, like out of Rocky IV. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. he was Russian, but like, like, you know, like there's always some Drago, like blonde guy. And so judging, I asked Jim how judging works. Is it just, it's just how much you lift and how many times, right? There's no like. How much and who's the fastest. There's absolutely fastest. no. Uh, There's style. no like form disqualifications no style points or anything or like that. that. Yeah, yeah. No, no style like, points. No flare points. There's no like, oh, he dismounted and the rock landed on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he he's died. Gonna, he's going to lose points there and his life. I'll go, that was a beautiful rock lift, yes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe if you wear a nice outfit, you know, An something. Elvis costume. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, is, there, is there people in your sport that, like, they lift, like, 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 like when they lift those Atlas balls, I think that's what we're calling them, Atlas balls. Sure. Yeah. When, when, we, when they lift them up and you go, oh, he's a guy, guy who puts his hand underneath and one on the top, what a fucking hack. Like, is there, like, ones where you go, oh, that guy's a fucking dickhead the way he lifts? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you allowed to all, say? All the time. Okay, you don't have to name names, but is if you got a rivalry with a bloke that every time you show up at the competition, you go, ah, fuck, Sven McLifterson yeah. too. <laughs> Sven McLifterson. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you got to watch out for that motherfucker. <laughs> and so, so, but it, it, all in all, is it a fairly friendly sport? Do you all go out drinking afterwards? That's actually one thing that I love about the sport. I mean, you, you would never think, but we all really get along. We support each other. We're very friendly. Like after, and afterwards, we always go go out for dinner together, buy each other drinks, just catch up. I assume like, it's an all-you-can-eat yeah. buffet. <laughs> yeah, not <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Give me, let's answer the calories. I'm fascinated by calories. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Jim, I asked him how many on average. On average, how many calories does a strong man consume in a day? He said ten to twelve thousand. Uh, there are some that claim to do that. I personally do like five to 7,000 getting ready for a show. I personally think that anyone says that they eat that much is full of shit. Like that, that's, I don't even, I don't even know if I believe that uh, Michael Phelps really did that regularly, but uh, it's uh, possible. I, I don't know. I know. Do, I, I'm just, do you, fine. do you have a strict diet or because you're working out so much, you just eat whatever you want, or is it all just chicken breast and brown rice? And you know what I mean? Um, well, it's not chicken breast and brown rice because I need a little bit more fat uh, in my diet, but um, it's fairly clean, yes. Uh, and I try to eat like a certain amount of protein a day and try to hit a certain amount of calories a day, but try to get it from healthier sources. Do you believe that a vegan could do what you do? I have no idea. Um, there is the, the, that movie, The Game Changers, um, that kind of sh- hints – at the possibility of you know athletes being able to get very strong and successful of uh, vegan diets, I personally believe it's very difficult. And also, all the claims and game changers, there's experts that say otherwise. So I don't know what what quite to believe. Uh, Patrick Emian, a uh, strong man, is he's a very strong guy. I got to hand it to him. Uh, he never competed at our level though. 
Right, and he was a vegan or a vegetarian. He's a vegan, but I've never seen him in our circuit, so I, I can't really say. Mm -hmm. So there's I've an article. Not, I've not met a single vegan that's at the world's strongest man level doing all the stuff all across the board that we're doing. There's right. an article here about Brian Shaw's daily menu. So it says he eats 12,000 calories a day. So eight eggs for breakfast, cinnamon toast crunch, and a tablespoon of peanut butter. Um, but Dainty. like peanut butter. Uh, yeah. Lunch is like a, a bunch of meat and pasta. A cow. You see, I've always yeah. been I've always been curious about that because like they like they they reckon you carb up that boxes carb up before a fight, right? What do you yeah. do? What 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 would be your breakfast, the day of an event, or your lunch? Would you have pasta, or would you just have lean meats and fruits, or what, what would you eat? I'll, I'll do the lean meats and fruits far away from a contest, but like the month before a contest, I start carb up more. And the day before, it's it's like pancakes and syrup. <laughs> That's a good day. <laughs> a, what I, what I would do is I would do that. I do that in the morning, and then I go, oh, my shoulders a bit sore. I pull out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm training for a competition. You can just eat pancakes. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah but the bit, I want to have guilt-free pancakes. Right. But people aren't judging me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like, oh, it was training. Um, <laughs> I asked him who has won the most. He didn't know the name. He said six wins, and they're from Germany. Do you know who's won the most? Uh, that would be Manus Janowski. He's not too far off. It was Poland, Polish. He's Polish, right? He, he got five, so not too far, not too yeah. bad. Not too bad. All right. Five is a lot. Is correct, and almost the amount of wins. Yeah. 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 And it says here because I'm looking at it right now. It has an American flag next to your name, though, not Latvian. I, I, I've lived in the States since I was four years old, uh, so I represent the United States at this point. Oh, you've lived here since you were four? Yeah. And you still have a slight accent, though? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. It's not strong. Yeah, I, I, no, I said slight. Yeah. I said yeah. a slight accent. But he's from the East Coast. Oh, right. Hey, I'm lifting so, here. So it still goes along with your it was cold. <laughs> I just have all sorts of an identity crisis going on. Latvia, <laughs> Massachusetts, now in California. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. He's moved around yeah. a lot. That's that's right. And see, this is the thing. Okay, so I'm very proud to be an American. I'm a naturalized American. I'm an American citizen. I am about to vote for the first time. Yeah. Very excited. About to vote. For the Thank you. I'm about to. It's going to make a big difference. <laughs> uh, I'm voting in California, <laughs> swing state. Still can't believe anyway. So, so, uh, so and all make a difference. Yeah, and all wow. the pro all the propositions I'm having a guess at. <laughs> I, I I don't want that lady to lose her dialysis. Oh, the more dialysis. That oh, fucking commercial. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so I anyway, but I, I'm going to vote. I'm very proud to be American, but I. If I see a sporting event, I still support Australia. There's something about yeah, your childhood where I can't swap over. In America, you win everything all the time. And, and I know how important it is to an Australian to win an Olympic medal in comparison to Americans because you get gold all the time. We only get a couple of things. And if we win like a, a, a soccer match, a football match, uh, if, coming from a country of 20 million people, it's very impressive when we win fucking anything. Yeah. So I still support Australia in sport. And, I, and and then, this is the weird one, and if Australia drops out of the competition, then I support England. <laughs> <laughs> America's not even I don't know. Team. I don't know what. I'm, I am such a fucking, I am such a hypocritical American. It, it, it's, it's true. I When the Olympics come around, like I watch them, but I'm never like, we won. I'm like, we win so much that it doesn't, yeah. And you're just like whatever, but yeah. I think it's pretty normal too. Anyway, it's like I'm I call Chicago home, so I root for Chicago sports, even though I've lived in LA longer than I ever lived in Chicago. Yeah. LA teams are always my second favorite teams, but do you still have a lot of ties to Latvia at all? Like your family there, or do you, do you still like yeah, identify? You know, I'll go back with them, and uh, actually choosing to you know represent the United States, it was a tough decision. Yeah. Um, because, uh, you know, my heart at some level did want to represent that, but uh, uh, choosing to be with the United States, kind of, a, a, you know, almost a... Yeah, I think when I um, compete at a sport on a professional level in the near future, <laughs> I will represent Australia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Americans will embrace you more. I can't get in the American team. I got to Eddie the Eagle the shit out of it. I got to find some <laughs> event where there's no Australian bloke could do it. Yeah. Latvia has 28 Olympic medals. I just looked it up right now. I don't know if there's any that you could. I don't, you guess you couldn't. You'd be American, or you could compete for Latvia if you wanted to. Oh, I could. Yeah. 
Now, what's what's the thing you throw over the pole? What is that event? The, the so, ch chucking things over pole. Uh, one of the implements that you uh, kind of muttered quietly was kettlebells. So that, that's Cattle, one of them. Kettlebells. That's what it was. Uh, egg toss. It's usually kegs. Keg toss. Oh, I thought you said egg toss. I yeah, was like, no. that yeah. seems easy. When, <laughs> when, that when did they get rid of the egg and spoon event? <laughs> Carrying the egg on a spoon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the Just potato quickly. sack race. But it was like, no, but it was like an ostrich egg. Uh, they're they're really strong heavy. men. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, I, I want to make it clear. I said six events. Like, there was only six events. There's a lot more. There's Atlas Stones, Vehicle Pool, Overhead Press, Fingal Fingers, Power Stairs, Deadlift, Keg Toss. Car carry. Car carry? Yeah. Car oh, the car carry. Oh. That's the one where they get inside the body of a car and they have harnesses over their shoulders and they lift it up and they walk <laughs> along with the car around them. It's crazy. It's almost exactly backpack. the description. That, that, that's what happens. I know, but I'm just what, surprised what you, you're so good at this. What did you call it? Backpack? It's like a backpack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're in the middle of a car and they lift it up and they walk along. I'm on the car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a Flintstones. It's yeah. a fucking Flintstones. It's exactly how it is. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, I know it. I've, I've, I, it's funny because I watched a lot of these when I was younger. I haven't seen them recently. I, I, but I remember when I was young, I used to watch a lot of these. I just guess I don't know where to watch them. Now, what so happened was, well, I think it's like an ESPN-y type yeah, thing. Yeah, it's ESPN. I, I, I think what happened was that that was one of the events they showed up and they go, we're doing what when? <laughs> oh, they, they've taken out all the seats of the car <laughs> and they put a couple of handles in and then they go, is there still an engine? Oh. Ah, uh, no, we just put some weights in the front there and a few <laughs> weights in the back and all that stuff. Yeah. What type of car is it that you live? What brand of car is it? I don't even remember uh, what kind of car is it. Usually it's like a hatchback or a sedan. Yeah, it looks like it's something from Kazakhstan, the car made. Like, it doesn't look like a car that you normally know. It's not like a Volkswagen, a Volkswagen Beetle or something. Yeah. It looks like it's uh, it looks like a like maybe a Vauxhall or something. It was a Beetle something. to be us. What? What? I think the last one might have been a real. Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. actually, it might have been. I, I gotta look it that up. Now it, that one you seems can't too easy. This is fucking insane. I've lifted so he many. He can't cars. remember what car he was <laughs> lifting up. <laughs> I, 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 if I changed a tire in a car, I'd be telling about people to years. <laughs> He's lifted many cars, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Back yeah. in '97, I changed that tire, and it was fucking hey, beautiful. Hey, here's a That's another big office. Just another, another day, day. The office. Here, here's a question though. So, like, uh, if if you lifted, like, I don't know, how much do you weigh, Jack? Like one fifty five. One fifty five. Not after the last what? night's meal. How like, easy is that for you to lift? One hundred fifty five. Does that even strain you at all? Uh, it depends. Uh, what are we talking about? A bicep curl? Is it a dead body or a, somebody who's <laughs> helping out? Uh, for the most part, no. That's crazy. No. Have, have have the uh, the movies approached you? Have they like? Yeah. Have they, they need a strong guy in a film. Well, this last year has been pretty epic. Um, I was on Game On, also to tell the truth, um, yeah. and now I've been in a couple of commercials. So I'm I'm going that way. I just got a manager. So all of this is just kind of blowing up in my life right now. Wow! <laughs> like you got a manager who goes, "You're gonna be big, kid. Even bigger. You're already big, but you're gonna be really big." Yeah. <laughs> I'm working with uh, the, the same guy that managed uh, Gronkowski. Oh, the right. Patriots. The right. Tom and Gronk show. Oh, is that why you lifted Gronkowski? Is that was like part of some promotional that, thing? Uh, that's exactly why, actually. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Well, I think that uh, – did, did, did you already go over to the dinner party fact? Yeah, so basically his dinner party fact was like despite – you know, strong men like having this reputation as being these big gruff guys. They're all teddy bears and they hang out with each other and support each other, which uh, I was yeah. saying is like kind of opposite of like Hollywood. <laughs> everybody wants oh, everybody yeah, okay. to fail. All right. That's good. Yeah. Cause we, we had that dinner party fact, as you know, we had talked about it with you, but you'd already mentioned it. Um, I don't know if there's any other questions yet for Martins. I have a lot. But... <laughs> well, you guys will have to well, get together for dinner or something. Yeah, he lives here, yeah. so there we. Uh, come on by, Jim. Yeah, man. Hey, do you want to do it? Here. I'd love to meet you. Do you want to come over to my house and have a beer sometime? Yeah. Real invite, and then uh, and then uh, come to one of my shows when uh, COVID stops. Oh, that would be such an honor. Ah, oh, mate. I'll it, give him your number. The honor would be mine. I would love that. Yes. 
All right. Well, there you go. All that's, right. That's I made a epi- friend. <laughs> <laughs> One friend in 23 episodes. <laughs> He's never invited anybody over. This is yeah, great. I yeah, never th- I was never confident enough they'd say yes. <laughs> and, and, and that would have been a lot of dead air. <laughs> you you want to you come over? You want to hang out with me? Um, all right. That's it for our podcast today. Thanks for being here, Martins. Again, you can find oh, him at... Uh, I'm sorry. Were you saying something? I just said, what a great time. I'm so happy. Oh. God. <laughs> He's so nice. Uh, <laughs> you can uh, follow him on Instagram at Martins Lichis, so which is again, M-A-R-T-I-N-S-L-I-C-I-S. Follow him on there and you can we'll check out a his cool third videos. Video. And, uh, and if there's anything else you want to say on the way out? Um... No, you're no, that, actually. I'm, I'm happy. I've asked you twice. Sorry, I put you on the spot. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Just said he had a wonderful time. And then I went, know. Any other things? I, I, as Do I was you, saying it, I remember. Uh, Do you what's have, that thing you wanted to say? Yeah. Do you have any compliments for Forrest specifically? No, 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 no. <laughs> Of course, you did a great job facilitating all of this. Yay! <laughs> Forrest did good work. <laughs> he didn't cut off any comedy gold this episode. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening to the podcast. If you're ever at a party and someone says they can lift something really heavy, you go, eh, not as heavy as a bloke that we heard on the Jim Jeffrey Show podcast. <laughs> Martins Leaches. Uh, yeah, yeah. I also like you just called this the Jim Jeffrey Show podcast. Uh, and, then, and then they'll go, is there a podcast called the Jim Jeffrey Show podcast? And then you go, I don't know about that. And you walk away. <laughs> Good night, Australia. <laughs>